there, kiddos. How you doing today? Welcome to Sandy's Odds and Bobs. Now, my question is, is what do you do with all that cutoffs from your gift wraps that you make gifts with and you have all these little odds and bobs of pieces that are cut off and you think, well, you know, normally this would all just like go into the trash. But not today. Today we are going to be learning how to make double belly bands with pockets. Okay, so all this is is stuff that you would throw away. For instance, you've got wrapping paper bits and pieces. You got some grocery bag. I'll have grocery bags. And that's it. We got glue. So, first thing you want to do is to figure out what page in your journal do you want to work with. This is my little journal that I've started and I need to fill up some pages here. So I'm thinking I'm going to work in this page right here. And you have to figure out how wide do you want your belly band. You don't have to be exact measurements, you can eyeball it. This one works just fine. This one's a little narrower, but it still works just fine. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly edge to edge. In fact, actually, you don't want it edge to edge because you want to be able to have some room down here to turn your page. So we're going to figure out uh, just about how wide we want it. So with that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab a piece of wrapping paper. Now, when you're picking out a wrapping paper, you know, not that you're going to pick it out, but you've already got it, is that you want to be able to have something that has an overall design. If it's super directional or only has spotted images here and there, it doesn't work so nice with this idea. So basically an overall design is best. So what you're going to do is you've got this little scrap of paper, you're going to fold it in half. Okay, you're going to fold it in half. And we're going to just fold it, there you go. and we're going to cut it in half. We don't need all that. So let's get that. Just cut it right in half. Now does it have to be exact or precise? No. Okay. Okay, so then what we're going to do is we're going to make our pocket. We're going to start making our pocket. I think you can see the pocket right there. A little easier. Okay, and there's one belly band, and then there's going to be another belly band behind it. So to make our pocket, what we're going to do is we're going to fold this little scrap of paper. See how small this is? You don't have to have a big piece. And we're just going to fold that in half. Then we're going to take it, and we're going to fold it to the middle. Does it have to be at the exact bottom? Nope. It's close enough. Okay, and then we're going to fold that into the middle. Then we're going to fold it. Now this is where you want to be a little more exact is you want to make sure that the edges meet right there. The edges meet. Now, when we look at our book, mm -hmm, we've got a big, long piece here. We don't need all that, do we? No, we don't. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to cut it down. So let's start with our, using our little guillotine. Okay, this is called a guillotine. It's a paper cutter. Some people call them paper trimmers, but what they really are are guillotines. Now, if you're familiar with uh, French history and the French Revolution, you know how they used guillotines. Uh, we're not going to use ours like that. We're just going to use it to cut paper. Nope. No off with their heads for us. Okay. And now that we have one edge trim, eh, pretty close. Again, it doesn't have to be exact science. We're going to just figure out where our, our other side is going to be. And we're thinking maybe right there. So we're going to mark that. Give that a snip. And a little pencil mark. There we go. Okay. And that works. So at this point we're going to glue this together that we want to move our papers over there and we're going to glue this. Now paper to paper you could use a wet glue that would be fine 
I prefer a dry glue because it just glues smoother. Okay. Again, when you're working with glues, I suggest a permanent glue stick. And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to get my glue paper. There we go. Glue paper. Now there again, junk, junk, junk. Junk mail, always coming in the mail. And we're just going to use that as a glue paper. So we're going to make sure that we don't have any little gobs and we have no dry spaces. Flip it over, press it down to the other side. Flip it over. And you don't have to glue up the whole paper, just the flips that are going to go over. And ooh, I left a lot of dry spots there. Dry spot, dry spot. Get rid of you. Go. Sticky, sticky, sticky. Sticky glue. Okay, so we're going to fold that over. Boom, boom, boom. Quick and easy. Pull it back over. Press it down. Looking neat. Ooh, I like it. Now we need a little, what they call a thumb notch. Now for our thumb notch, what we're going to do is we're going to cut it out with our... <laughs> You know, sometimes I put things where I can't see them and they're right in front of me. With our handy dandy whale tail oval punch. Now you can use whatever punches you have, or if you don't have a punch, you can use scissors and just do the best you can with it. Okay. There's a handy dandy whale punch back where I had it. Okay, so now we have our notch. And because it's you can't really see it there, we're going to use our glue. Which glue, glue needs to be put back together. Okay. We're going to use our ink. Move that edge up just a wee bit. Now it's still soft because the paper absorbs that glue stick, so it's still going to be a bit soft. That's enough for you. Okay, so we can see that a little bit. Then we're going to glue the edges. Now we're going to switch over to our tacky glue at this time. So we can have a very thin line of glue. Thin line. Thin line of glue. Da, 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 da. Sometimes it's not so thin. Sometimes you need to have it. That's okay. We're still working with our handy dandy glue paper. Press that out. Yeah, squeeze some of that glue out. No, it's just fine. Okay, so we're going to let that dry for a minute. Next, we need our backing because we have this really nice backing here. And again, we love paper bag. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to decide. I like that. Okay, we're going to decide where we're going to be cutting our paper bag. Uh, right there. So we just got to fold it. Just to give us a place to see where we're going to cut it. And yeah. Good right there. And we're going to make sure that we're leaving some edges on each side of our pocket because we definitely want to have that decorative edge on each side of our pocket so we don't need any of this up here okay still have edges and what if you got it crooked it's okay because we're going to use our little handy dandy guillotine okay so we are going to decide maybe we want it a little narrower a little narrower Let's see about a half an inch. You know, visualize a half an inch. That's all you need. Visualize a half an inch. Okay, so let's go to your guillotine. Stick it in here. Now you can hand, cut this with scissors. That's no big deal. Just going to tidy this edge up a little bit. Okay, we're going to throw this piece away. Save that piece. Okay, so there we go with that. And that's looking good. So now we don't have to glue this on. You can if you want, but I prefer not to. 
Now, we're going to work with our decorative edges. Now, this is my, my favorite decorative edge because it's small enough and sturdy enough that you can put papers in and out of the pocket and it doesn't bend or tear. Now, you don't have, if you don't have one of these, you don't have to work. Hopefully, you can use decorative edge scissors. Okay, so with that, you can come in and you can make all kinds of interesting edges for your, for your papers. You can use decorative edge scissors. Okay, so, but my fave is the Martha Stewart, not that I'm promoting Martha Stewart, but the Martha Stewart did make some really good paper edgers. So, what you're going to do if you have a paper edger is you're going to put your paper in and you're going to center it in the design. Center it. That gives you, you can keep it in there, and you're going to press it down. So that gives you those little bits. Now, you're going to take it, you're going to move it over to the second design. Not the first one, but the second one to get this side. And that cuts that very nicely. And then you're going to do the same over here. You're going to go to the second design. Line that up. And see how they, they made the pattern right there. So it's so easy. So easy. Just line it up. And there you go. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. You can do that a little quicker. Second design, second design, and voila, you got it. Now you have all this little paper stuff for you to get off of there. Where the trash that goes. So here you go. So now, that turned out well. Okay, so now you have your backing. Okay, so now we're at the point where now we can glue it down. And again, we're going to glue with our tacky glue. Okay, we don't need a whole lot. I'm going to glue that down like so. Get the right paper here so we can squeeze out the excess. Sometimes comes in handy. And you'll notice that <laughs> this edge, not even, even straight, that's okay. Because guess what? We got a little thing to get out Bring that little puppy over. And we're going to take care of that. So we're going to bring it in. Get to where we want it. Cut it. Ooh. Okay, put a scrap book, put it in trash. Hey, some things go in trash, some things don't. That definitely is. Okay, so now we got our basic belly band. So what we want to do next is dress it up a little bit using handy dandy ink. And again, we're going to just flick, 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 flick. Those edges go in there. Yeah. And you can you don't have to use brown. I like brown because it looks I think it looks nice against the brown paper bag. And I'll finish doing all the edges. Putting the sides you're gonna glue down. So if that happens, just uh, that's what I like about tacky glue, is it, it's forgiving. 
and it will allow you to straighten things out. So there we go. You've got it done. Boom, boom, boom. So now we're ready to glue this little puppy into our journal. And belly bands being belly bands, because they're like in the middle where your belly is, will go in the middle of your page. You don't want your belly band to go up there, because then it becomes tuck. You don't want it to come down here, because then it becomes a pocket. Right in the middle, belly, belly, belly band. Okay, so now we are going to paper the paper, glue down only the sides, only the edges right here. That way we can tuck stuff behind it. Hence the name Belly Band. Okay, so you want to make sure that your pocket, little pocket there, is in the up position. In the upright position. And center it. Again, you don't want to place it too close to your binding here in your journal because it will cause it to bunch up and it won't work well. Okay, here again. A little bit of extra glue. A good bit of you. A little extra glue. And while we're going to let this dry, 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 dry. We're going to let this dry. We're going to be making the stuff that we need to go in it. And that is super fast, super quick. I'll show you how we're going to work with that. Okay, now, what we're going to deal with is we're going to work with greeting cards. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Okay, so the things that I had made to go in was journal card, journal card, and paper to journal on, journaling paper. And all this is is cut-offs from old greeting cards that I've edged the edges. Here, I didn't do anything but took a piece of this copy paper. This is kind of copy paper that you can put in your computer and you can uh, print stuff on. Make that glue correct. And so I just folded it up and that's going to tuck in the back. This is going to be a journaling card and a journaling card. Usually you want to do two different sizes for this particular project so that it just looks nice. And I'll show you how that works in the end. So with our journaling cards, all we had to do is like reading card and we just cut that off. Just cut it out. And then we decided how wide we needed it. So how wide did we need it? You want to make sure it does not touch the edges. We want to be able to make sure it slides in easily. Let's see if it'll let me do it. Yeah, see it slides in easily. Okay. Slides out easily. Easy is good. So that's how we got that. And the same thing for our other little guy. It's a different one. We're not going to use that one right now. Little guy. And he was just basically a little thank you card, a thinking of you card, that uh, just cut the front off and did the same thing with that. So, let's, let's work with that. So, all you have to do is to put your journaling card once you have that. And then your journaling, other journaling card will fit into here. Of course, it's still wet, so it's not dry yet. And then we get our copy paper folded. We tuck that behind. First things first. Let's put this in first. And then our journal card next. And then our little journal card. And once you have all your things inserted, you're thinking, well, you know, it could use a little bit something more. So you go through your clusters. Remember, we make clusters out of little bits of this and that, odds and bobs things. And you decide, well, maybe, maybe this cluster will look nice there. So then you're just going to glue that cluster on right there. So again, because it is paper to paper, 
we can use our tacky glue Go in there. Thank you. You know what I did? I made the mistake of putting my glue upright. That was my mistake. Get our tacky glue going. And then we can just place that right there. And I thought the words kindness is free was so appropriate because of this little journal card. It's like, isn't that cute with the little puppy and the kitten and being so kind to each other. So that works for me. So there it is. We did our double belly band with our pocket. Quick and easy as that. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Click on the links below, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for coming by Sandy's Odds and Bobs, and let's make some fun stuff here. Bye-bye.